Hello friends and welcome to The Dark Side Detective. We're back on our indie schedule in between our King's Quest games and well, I thought we'd keep it going with a point and click game, but a new indie point and click game. You can tell because it says click to start. Hacha. Let's see. Twin Lakes Police System Volume 13 Case Files. Malice in Wonderland sounds like a great starting point. Case summary. The chief has sent me to the Jones residence. Dooley is there with further details. I guess maybe I should uh, bust out my, my uh, neo-noir detective voice. The chief has sent me to the Jones residence. Dooley is there with further details. Let's do it. Malice in Wonderland. How exciting. Hopefully it's not too spooky for us. Whoa, I almost shot you there, detective. You shouldn't be sneaking around like that. Doesn't he seem capable? Dooley, you watched me drive up. I had my siren on. You waved at me as I pulled in. I guess this place has me spooked out a little. So, what happened here? Chief Scully just called me up and told me to get here ASAP, no details. Seven-year-old kid, Alice, went missing a day ago, no sign of her leaving the house. Seems to be the kind of spooky crap, I mean the kind of case you're into, detective. Well, that's just the case we're all into. Who doesn't want a little dose of the spooky? Great, let's get started. Alright. So we don't have that user interface, but it seems to tell us what we can do. Look at that squad car. A trusty squad car. I like to call it the Popo Moto. All right. All right, Dooley. <laughs> let's see what, we'll see what else you have to say. After you, detective. You know, whenever standing in this rain stops being fun for you. Oh. Is this our, is this our buddy cop dynamic here? Is Dooley the... Does he have the sarcastic wit? Oh, I love the sound of rain. And of course, when you got all those eerie instruments in the background, it means fun for all. Let's head inside. What? Whoa. Nice smoking chair right in the uh, entryway. Officer Dooley, why is there a hobo dripping all over my carpet? Uh, that's Detective Francis McQueen, Mr. Jones. He's here to investigate. I see. Twin Lakes Finest, eh? That is indeed. I'll tell you all about it. So, how can I help you, Detective? Tell me about Alice. I'll level, I'll level with you, Detective. I don't have many dealings with her. She has a limited conversation pull. But it's... She's seven. Exactly. A tedious age. So, I leave that to the nanny. She's around here somewhere. Where were you last night? Were you murdering? That's it. We solved it. We solved it right off the bat. But we should keep playing. Why didn't you notice she was missing? I was out. He was possibly murdering somebody else, so... He didn't murder her. So you must be innocent. How wonderfully shady. Have you got an alibi? Where I was is none of your business, detective. What? Isn't it? <laughs> you gotta prove that alibi, dude. My taxes pay your salary. They also pay for the cell and questioning room I'm gonna have Dooley here take you to. Fine, call this number. They'll vouch for me. Rusty Bell's Booty Boutique. Classy stuff. Busty Bell. Ah, Bell's. Fond memories. I mean, uh, where was he? Uh, a bell shop? What? Alright, we got the matches. Matches. Busty Bell. These are from Busty Bell's Booty Boutique. This kid didn't win out on the father stakes. Oh yeah, he's got even got that inner monologue. I'm digging it. I hope you don't smoke around your kid. Thankfully, detective, I am rarely around my kid. Nice schooner. Haha, <laughs> you dummy. It's not a schooner, it's a sailboat. Schooner is a sailboat, Dooley. 
Oh my gosh. We got movie references here that have nothing to do with Neo Noir. <laughs> We're pulling some Kevin Smith here. Some mall rats. Oh my gosh. This game has everything. All right. Let's see. Okay. Upstairs and hallway. Well, let's keep it on the first floor. Systematically go through this, this house here. Ooh, a little notepad, check that out. Okay. Little options. All right, Dooley. Let's discuss this case. Does it seem odd to you that these folks don't have a kitchen or bathroom? The recession hit us all hard, Dooley. It's true. But, I mean, you gotta respect them keeping the grandfather clock. This reminds me of my own grandfather. Your grandfather was a clock? What? Oh, he had a clock. Shame. I thought I'd finally found out something interesting about you. What? I'm interesting. Whatever you say, detective. Well, I'll just prove you how interesting we can be, Dooley. By solving this case, saving a young girl, and looking at a box of junk, apparently. Hmm. A black light bulb. May as well take it. Now we all need... Now all we need is a disco ball, some white clothes, and fat beats. Then we've got ourselves a good night. A good night is fun in this kid, Dooley. Don't you forget it. All right. A black light bulb for black lighting things. All right. Awesome. I guess we can use the uh, items we find in this house to help with our investigation. Don't need our own professional equipment. <laughs> That's Bush League stuff. This is Detective McQueen. Locked. Wonder where I'd find a key. Well, I don't think that father's gonna help us. So let's head on upstairs. Dooley? Hey, are you free to help wallpaper my sister's house this weekend? I can do the first floor, but I need somebody to hold the ladder while I do the second. I think she means the inside rooms. Really? Thank goodness. I was not looking forward to wallpapering that roof. Dooley? I love you, buddy. <laughs> just, just gonna let you know. Just gonna let you know, Dooley. A place this fancy deserves something nicer than plastic flowers. What an odd place for a telephone. They must have run out of places to draw. I mean, put it. Ooh, meta. Well, let's see if we can... Can we use an item? Okay, so if I click it, I talk about it. But I can drag it. Let's set the telephone on fire. Or, I mean, I'd better check Roy's alibi. Oh, an old rotary. Hello? Is this Bell's? Busty Bell's Booty Boutique. Busty Bell's Bosom Bordeo. Busty Bell's Banda. Yes, uh, would have been enough. I'm a thorough woman. No question left unanswered, no desire unfulfilled, no fantasy unexplored, no bell. Uh, we need you to partner up with us. Because, uh, you're, you're, you're all about helping Dooley here. He's got that sarcastic wit. We're tr we need all the help we can get to save this girl. Come on. I get the picture. Are you sure? I could send you one if you like. Yes, please. I mean, was a Mr. Roy Jones in your establishment last night? Couldn't say. Client confidentiality, identities are concealed, sometimes in masks. This is a police matter. I'm Detective Francis McQueen. Francis McQueen of the Dark Side Division? Ooh, we're famous, huh? Reputation precedes us. Tell Dooley I say hello. I'm glad this screen resolution doesn't let you make out that I'm blushing. Happy to help a friend of Dooley's. Yep, Roy Boy was in here last night. Roy Boy? Some questions, even a badge won't get you answered. Hmm. Alright, so his alibi checks out. That's all I need for now. If you find yourself needing anything else, just pop on by. Okay. Well. Let's check out the master bedroom. What? Oh, there's an attic. No, no, I guess we'll go ahead. We'll go do the daughter's bedroom. <gasps> oh, no. We must console Mrs. Jones. And, uh... Accuse Teddy of crimes. Well, we'll get back to you, Teddy. Got my eyes on you. 
Logan, I ask. My baby, my baby is gone. Can you tell me about Ella? She must, she just disappeared, baby. Is there any? You have to find her. Okay, okay, okay. Find her. Dooley, Dooley, help me out here, buddy. This is a lot of pink. I think I'd have run off too. All right. My eyes are on you, Teddy. Tell me where you were. Tell me where she is, bear. I'm only kidding. You don't know. You're only a bear. Stupid, no-nothing bear. Oh, come on. He's doing his best. All right, man, pony, tree. A drawing of our suspect. Really? I'll put on an APB. No, Dooley, don't do that. I've never seen a horse with five legs before. I only count four. But I do think that's two butts. And hey, hey. A two butt pony's all right with me. Just like seeing a, a blue duck. That's quacktastic. Hey, I know that tree. It owes me five bucks. What? Is it the, the giving tree? Pens. It's no time for art, detective. Blacklight. This looks useful. Received blacklight marker. Huh. I don't have much use for a dozen pink socks. Okay, the marker and the light. Let's go to the master bedroom. Ah, nice portrait there. Hard to believe this is the same woman we spoke to. The stress of all this has hit her hard. In this photo, could that be the girl? She seems like a sweet kid. Don't worry, we'll find her, detective. And check out the family photo. Alice and her mom look quite happy here. And of course, always gotta peek through the drawers. <laughs> always, always, always. Seems impolite to go rifling around in somebody's drawers uninvited. Alright, Dooley. I'll give you points on that one, at least. A waterbed. Very fancy. Looks like something has been kicked under here. No, it doesn't. Uh, a strange page. It's a peculiar pattern from the Occult for Dummies book. Strange thing. The label says for use under blacklight. All right, Nanny. Where were you? Tell me about Alice. She's spoiled and sticks her nose where it doesn't belong. But that's what having super rich parents will do to you, I guess. Oh, jeez. I think everyone's just hangry here. We gotta, we gotta, gotta call up some catering service. Everyone just needs a little bit of food here. Then we find that daughter. What's the nanny doing in the master bedroom? Nothing suspicious, that's for sure. No survey. Hmm. How long have you been working for the Jones? Jones is detective, even though it ends with an S. You still you still pluralize it. Is now really the best time? It's always a good time for grammar. Anyway, answer the question. Long enough to harbor no ill will whatsoever. Hmm. Say, you're the nanny. The very innocent nanny, yes. Do you have keys for the various rooms? I am a nanny, not a maid. Right, but do you? Yes. May I have the key to the study then? Sure, there's nothing incriminating in there anyway. All right, nanny. Not doing yourself any favors, except for helping me with this investigation by suspecting you. So I appreciate it. <laughs> you should unlock the study for me. First. Check out the attic. Mm hmm. Paint thinner. The paint thinner fell when the shelf gave away. Not much left in it now. All right. Broken lamp. Hmm. May not be broken after all. Just a blown bulb. Well, we have a bulb to help out with that. Shabam. I hope this doesn't reveal somebody's attic shame. Holy moly. What the hell? Well, this doesn't look ominous at all. The pattern on the wall looks washed out of places. I wonder what would happen if I redrew it. Dooley, any thoughts? I don't like the look of this, detective. I'd have gone with glowing green myself. It's creepier. Yeah, but that would suspect aliens. Purple, I suspect ghosts. 
Those look heavy enough to knock somebody out cold. A box marked Anne's Broken Dreams. Well, we still need to check out the study, but heck, I can't pass this up. Maybe draw a little doorknob on this. Get a little Beetlejuice up in here. Okay, seem to have everything I need. Let's get down to some spooky hijinks and redraw those missing symbols. Oh, symbols. Good thing I have this, uh, <laughs> Occult for Dummies page. Okay, well, let's find these symbols. Uh, right? 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 Or do I? Aha! That's what I plan to do. Just drawing symbols, hopefully not, uh, calling any demons into our realm. That, that wouldn't be great. Just want to save a girl, not summon demons. That should be it. Great. Maybe now is a good time to stop doing, well, anything really. Even I'm not foolish enough to go in there with no light. Hmm. Good note, detective. Maybe there is one in the study. Let's use that key. And hey, presto, we're in. Whoa, buddy. Show this dog statue. This statue is ugly enough to be worth a lot of cash. Well, I think he's as cute as a button. A lantern, that's what we need. An old oil lantern seems to have some oil left too. Wow, this house has a rotary phone and a lantern. <laughs> okay. Roy Jones Esquire takes a certain type of person to have an oil painting of themselves. His magazine collection, geez, this guy's obsessed with jugs. The, the pouring kind. Another lovely, <laughs> oh my gosh. A nice collection of books. The dust suggests they've not been looked at in some time for shame. Well, they're not the magazines, detective. That's uh, seems to be where he spends all his time. All right, we have the lantern. Back to the attic. Let's save this girl. Be more useful if it were lit. All right. Should probably light this thing, you know, just in case. And let's go. Okay, Dooley, let's do this. No offense, detective, but I'm going nowhere near that creep fest. I'll uh, stand guard out here. But hey, she's right here. Just through the portal. Alright, let's go ahead and give her a talk. We must save her! Hello, mister. Hey, kiddo. Are you here to take me home? Yep. Good, I'm hungry and the sounds from downstairs are scaring me. Yeah, let's get out of here. Might as well check out some things first. This looks like another attic, right down to the broken shelf. Except that it's all blue and cold here and creepy and ghostly. A bar, uh, a box marked Baby's First Cult Robes. The label says Old Milk Circa 1880. Why would you store that? Don't look in there, mister. That's where the three-eyed rats hide. Whoa. Just new friends to make. Oh, no. Not so fast, detective. No, the nanny. I didn't suspect you at all. Where's Dooley? That idiot, I knocked him out. Not with the paint. I made a mental note of that. I can't have you stooping around anymore, so I'm going to trap you here. At least take the girl. Oh, I intend to. I'm her legal guardian, after all. It's my job to look after her, especially if anything should happen to her parents. Say, for example, they're getting trapped in the dark side's version of their bedroom. It's where they'd be now if Alice hadn't gotten into my stuff and stupidly trapped herself up here. I figured it'd be best to lay low until you had gone. I thought you'd have given up by now. What kind of cub would give up on a missing kid? Most of the TLPD? Uh, sadly, fair. So that's what this is, an inheritance scheme. You have to admit, it's a fairly perfect crime. It is, actually. Even if you do get rid of me, then what? Alice knows what you're up to. She's a smart kid. If she's so smart, she'll know to keep her mouth shut. 
Once Dooley wakes, you and your scheme will be done for. Hmm, good point. I'll just have to get you to drag him into here with you. Come on. Oh, you lead us to the outside, huh? You fool! Okay, drag your friend in here, and no funny business. Uh... Little do you know that I'm ready for some... Paint thinner! Have a taste of your own medicine. No! <laughs> Heck yeah. I s we saved your butt, Dooley. You gonna thank us? You gonna be nice to us? Is this just the beginning of a long and beautiful friendship? So the kid got into the nanny stuff and accidentally used it to trap herself in that creepy attic? The dark side. Well, that's a surprisingly succinct summary of things, yes. Shame the nanny was certifiable. She was a looker. Dooley, she was dabbling in the dark arts with a plan to trap innocent people in a parallel world, kidnap their kid and steal all their cash. You said it was a shame, jeez. I wonder where the nanny got the occult books from anyway. That stuff is hard to find these days. A case for another day, I guess. First of all, we have to figure out what kind of paperwork covers this mess. Case close. Well, we just had a little introductory case there, but I liked it. I thought it was a lot of fun. In fact, I like this game a lot. It's a, it's a great retro but new style of point and click. Very simplistic with a sense of humor. I'm all over this. And of course, the spoopies? <laughs> yeah, that's what I like to see. But of course, that was our first case, so I think another episode will cover case number two. So we'll save that for the next video. Thanks everyone for braving this point click game with me. Certainly needed your help so I could feel brave myself. And I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you, and see you next time.